Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to put a quick wee video description of me before I start doing my makeup here. Um, just to say that this is going to be the start of my Zodiac series which I am very excited about starting. So I'm going to do 12 looks, one for each Zodiac sign that are inspired by things that are related to it. So colours, elements, personality traits, likes, dislikes. Um, and create that into a makeup look. So this video format is going to be a wee bit different because I'm actually going to be doing a voiceover. Um, I just think that'll be easier. Rather than me rambling on about it, I'm going to do the makeup and then ramble on about it over the makeup segment, um, just so that it kind of cuts down on video length so you're not sitting watching me here for half an hour to 45 minutes because I don't think anyone wants that. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoy. If you could let me know what you think. These are going to be going up every couple of weeks um, just to kind of spread them out a wee bit more but they are all planned out and ready to go. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Capricorn is a sign that is very serious by nature. It is a sign that resembles discipline, responsibility and strength. Capricorns possess an inner state of independence that allows them to progress through their personal and professional life. They are natural leaders that make solid and realistic plans and will learn from their mistakes to get to the top based solely on their experience and expertise. Capricorns set high standards for themselves. Their honesty, dedication and perseverance will lead them to their goals. They value loyalty and hard work over any other traits. Capricorns belong to the element of Earth, hence their grounded and practical outlook on life. However, this can also make them stubborn, unforgiving and prone to turning to the past. Colours typically associated with Capricorn are brown and black as they represent closely the element of the Earth. A goat with the tail of a fish is the animal of Capricorns. This is created to face fear and create panic. Capricorns are always ready to transform into something that will defend those they surround themselves with. They face the world as they are, brave enough to never run away, but constantly afraid of their inner monsters. For this makeup look, I wanted to create a look that was bold, unforgiving and disciplined, just like Capricorns. I stuck to a very basic colour scheme of brown, black, purple and gold. I wanted to incorporate purple as I see it as a colour of power and so it would re reflect Capricorns' inner strength. So what I've done so far is applied a base. I used a TV paint stick just to get a really solid base and now I am creating these shapes on my face um, that I wanted to remind me of a goat's horns. Um, I wanted to do this to sculpt the face and create large areas of depth and contrast. So I did this first with creams just to make sure that I got a highly pigmented look and now I'm applying some concealer just to brighten up underneath my eyes. So for the shapes on my face, I simply just used a art brush just to outline them. And then I filled them in slightly and used a fluffy blush, a fluffy brush, sorry, just to blend it out um, so there was a bit more depth. And now I'm just setting my face using a powder, a loose powder on a sponge and just making sure when I am setting the darker areas of my face that I'm pressing it in and not swiping so that I don't move any of the areas that I have already worked on. Now for the brows, I wanted to make them strong and bold, um, so I filled them in using a brown eyeshadow and extended them down at the front so that they were lower than they usually are and drew them straight up to kind of give a more lifted effect. And now I'm just carving out underneath using a concealer and I'm going to blend that out using a fluffy brush in a moment or minute or two.
and now I'm just applying an eye primer just before we move on to the eyes and setting it using just a neutral shade. Now for the eyes I wanted to create a graphic liner um, so I decided to do this by using the shape of the Capricorn Zodiac symbol. Um, so I slightly extended it and exaggerated the shape just so that it would suit my eye shape better and look a bit more interesting. So for looks like this, whenever I'm doing something that is very precise, um, I always start on my non-dominant side, which for me is my left side of my face. Um, because if I want to get it symmetrical, it just makes it easier to match up on the right side of my face because I'm better at that side. So for this, I first went in with a brown. I actually used a brown eyeshadow um, that I picked up on a wet brush just to make it more of a liner consistency. And I'm actually using a very small paintbrush just to create the basic shape. So I created the shape, sketched it in first, and then went back in and thickened it all up. And I'm sorry for the terrible camera angles right now. So then I went in with some hints of purple. I'm actually using a liquid lipstick. Um, I just went in and applied this kind of on the lower part of the lines just for a bit of a pop of colour just to make it a bit more interesting. And I'm just using the same brush that I used before which is actually just a wee art brush that I cut a few strands off of. And now I'm just applying a black liquid liner. I applied this so that it angled my eyes up slightly so it was kind of a wing at the end but it was a bit more blunt just to make my eyes appear bigger and then using that same liquid lipstick I am applying that onto my lower waterline. Obviously if you're using a liquid lipstick near your eyes please be careful this one is formulated to be used anywhere but be careful if you are using this. And then I'm using that same liquid lipstick and creating more lines around the brown areas that I have put on my face. I just really wanted to emphasize the structure of my face. And now I'm going in with a purple eyeshadow on a pointed brush and I'm just applying this at the tops of my cheekbones down my forehead, down my nose and on my chin. As you'll see, I applied some of that purple round my lips um, and I ended up not liking it. It looked good on paper, it did not look good on my face. Um, so I get rid of that later, so just ignore that. For and then I'm going in with the dark brown and black shadow just to create more depth and definition. I wanted this look all about to be all about structure. Um, and contrast and so I wanted the darkest parts of my face to be very dark and the lightest parts to be very light. And now I'm just applying a very very nice purple highlighter because I wanted to I want all of these looks to be very ethereal. Um, I, I don't want any to stick out like a sore thumb for not being ethereal and almost godlike. Um, so I'm applying a highlighter just to give my skin a nice glow and I put that underneath my eyebrows and onto my lids just to add a bit more definition to the eye. So now this is the part that takes forever but it's so worth it. So I used a gold glitter, they're just like small hexagonal um, pieces of glitter um, and I used these because I wanted to emphasise the determination of Capricorns and their high achiever mindset um, because they always strive to be number one and so what is better to represent that than gold. Um, the use of a different shape, um, so using like dots rather than lines, just helps break up the line work um, to create a more interesting and dynamic look um, and it also just helps to add wee flickers of light. So I applied these around my eye makeup um, I kind of outlined the centre of my forehead pieces and then I also end up putting some inside the brown areas as well. I did down my cheekbones 
and this again just helps to emphasise the structure that I've already created. Um, I wanted this look to be very dramatic. So I'm just sticking these on using a glitter glue and that's just another paintbrush. I love using paintbrushes for makeup. Um, so I just apply a wee dot of glitter glue and then use that same paintbrush to pick it up and place it. And then you can just use the end of the, the other end of the paintbrush to secure it in place if you need to. Or your finger, whatever works for you. But this part does take forever, but it's so worth it in the end. So now for lips. Um, I'm starting off by lining them with a black eyeliner. Um, just outlining the basic shape of them. Now I'm going in with a mix of liquid lipsticks, just in the centre. So I wanted to include purple and gold into the lips, um, just like the rest of the face. Um, just to show that Capricorns will always voice their opinions. So the, the colours in this room that stand for their power are purple and gold. So they kind of have to be present in every area of the makeup. Um, so it's just kind of to represent that they will always stand for what they think is right and voice their opinions and lead. So now for eyelashes, I first curled them and applied some black mascara and now I'm going in with a wee half eyelash which I dipped in that same glitter glue and the glitter um, just to create a more interesting funky eyelash look. And I also brushed my lower lashes with some gold pigment. And now you can see I am taking off that thing around my lips because it just it wasn't working. And this is, this is okay, things happen, you make mistakes. This looked good on paper, it did not look good on my face. So it's coming off my face. This was also the moment that I realised that I was going to have lines where I put that liquid lipstick and stain my face, so it was great. So now I'm just going back in with that paint stick that I used before, tapping it on and then using my same face brush and then any areas where that liquid lipstick was peeking, was peeking through, I just went back in on a small kind of detail brush just to pack more pigment on. I also used it as an opportunity to clean up my lip line killing two birds with one stone. Then I just set it again using that same translucent powder and then brushed it off. So that's, I suppose that's a good thing that you can see that everybody makes mistakes. Okay so to finish off the lips I'm just going in with a black lip gloss just on the outer portions of my lips and then I just blended that slightly using my finger and then to finish off I am putting a gold pigment just over my cupid's bow and on the bottom portion of my lip. So there you have the finished look for my first zodiac sign, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. All of my social media links are linked down below if you could go and give me a follow on them as well as all of the products that I used. I'll see you next time and I hope you enjoyed.